Hello, my name is Patricia Holmes, and this is a quick tutorial on a very, very powerful, amazing tool in Photoshop called the uh, Spot Healing Brush. And so we are going to take a look at that by opening up a couple of images that I've provided for you. Let's go ahead and uh, use our tool to uh, zoom in on this. So I'm going to click in a little bit. And you can see the spots on this uh, person's skin that we're going to correct. First thing we have to do, guys, is come over here to the bottom right of your screen and look at the layer. We have to unlock that layer. So when you have a locked layer, it limits a lot of things that you can do in Photoshop because Photoshop is trying to protect that master layer. So we can do a couple things. You can right click it and you can choose duplicate and that keeps the uh, master layer or I'm going to hit control Z and back up or you can just double click the layer and choose OK and that unlocks it. So come over here to the left side of the screen and look at our toolbar. We have the spot healing brush. So once you click that, which it's already selected. You're going to pick your brush size and we, we want a small brush size, but we also want that brush to be soft. So the edges uh, aren't defined and the spacing also gives uh, the edges a softer one. So put the spacing at 25 and that's it. So watch this. We come over here. Um, look at my mouse. You can see it at the right side of the of the photo and we're going to come over here and all you do guys is take your mouse and click once and it starts removing these blemishes so here's one we'll, we'll remove click i'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger spot healing these are for spots so let me make the brush a little bit bigger so we can see it a little bit more i'm at 20. okay and we're going to come over here and we're going to take away some of these by just clicking, clicking, and clicking again. Click. I think you see, look, look at that little blemish right there under the nose. Click. Click again. There you go. And this one right here. Okay, I think you have the idea on this one. You can clean this photo up a little bit more. That's one thing I want to show you. Now, another photo I want you to look at, and again, I'm providing these for you, is, let's zoom in a little bit here, is an image about a wrinkling. We're gonna use another tool here called the Healing Brush Tool. Guys, with the Healing Brush Tool, um, you're going to soften areas of wrinkles, but um, you don't want to completely remove wrinkles because um, you don't want the image to look fake. You want the image to look improved upon, uh, but real. And if you use this um, healing brush too much in an image, it's going to start changing the re the real look so you'll see if you if you overuse this you'll look at that image and you'll see oh that looks bad <laughs> so remember less is more with this particular tool so let's go ahead and unlock it and then what i want you to point out what i want to point out to you in an image is the, is the the wrinkles are identified by the dark lines these small wrinkles we want to leave we want to leave alone but see that dark line there and that dark line there if we soften it it's going to take a few years off of this person it's going to make this image look a lot better so on this particular one the software wants a sample so right next to this black line right here i'm going to take this skin sample and i'm going to click the option button on my keyboard and that's my target. I'm going to click my mouse once and I'm going to get a sample. That gives a sample of good skin. And then I'm going to take my mouse over this black wrinkle part right here and I'm going to hold it and drag it. 
Now it's kind of dark and blurry. I don't like it. I'm going to hit control Z. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make sure that it's a soft brush. And now I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Brush might be too big. Let's try 12. Let's do it again. And when every time I click option and click, it reloads the brush. That looks good. That looks a lot better. So see if you softly take away those black, deep black lines. It makes the, the person's photo look a little bit better. Let's just do a couple more. See, we don't want to make somebody try to look, you know, younger than they are. We just want to soften and improve these images a little bit more. See that? And again, if you don't like it, hit Control Z and do it again. And then you could do a few more. Let's zoom in. That's actually looking pretty good. Um, I want to just stop here. We're going to back out of this zoom. Um, so see, now if you look at the picture not completely zoomed in, the, the look of this image looks much better. It's improved a little bit. So one of the things I keep emphasizing, and you might have to just experiment with it to see what I mean, is you can over-process this and not make it look very good. So we, we don't want to see any um, effects of our altering. Uh, on here. We want it to look as natural as possible. Okay, that's going to be your assignment, editing these two images. Thank you for listening.